Hi, YouTubers. JW Accent here. Anywho, this creepy pasta was requested by a Mr. David Phillips, but you know him on YouTube as Ice Cold 963. The creepy pasta is beware, Omega. <laughs> Hello. Please listen to me. It's for your own good. I feel compelled to warn you of the danger that was recently unleashed upon the internet. I don't have much time. I feel that he draws near. I like to surf the internet, as most people do. Sometimes the internet gets boring, though. And I find myself having nothing better to do than go to the anonymous webcaming site known as Omegle. I'm sure most of you have heard of it, as it is notorious for those perverts jerking their junk on cam. Well, I went into Omegle for the first time in forever, and, well, I guess they have this new feature where you get paired up with people that share your interests. In addition, they also let you access Facebook and use your interests on there if you want. I decided to try it and began my random webcaming spree. The first few people just skipped me, and then there were those many idiots I had to skip for jerking off. But then, happened. He showed up on cam. A man dressed in black appeared to be a robe or gown, wearing what looked to be a well-detailed, semi-expensive sort of jack-o'-lantern, creepy pumpkin mask. Couldn't really tell what the mask was made from. The man on the camera was waving at me creepily. I had kind of gotten freaked, but then laughed and asked if he could take his mask off. The man was silent and just shook his head no. I found that to be a bit unsettling. Time passed, and I thought I had caught on. I laughed, asking the man if this was a prank, but the man had motioned for me to be quiet when I did so. I had typed to the man, saying, I was going to skip to the next person, then typed again saying, but this is just too funny. The man then typed back, I know where you are. For the next three days, wherever you go, I will follow. Whatever you do, I will be watching. I will know where you are, who you're with, what you're doing, and when you're doing it and all you will ever see of me is this mask. Then, after three days, I will kill you. As if that weren't enough, as I finished reading and went to go to the next chat, I noticed that my webcam was mirroring his. He was somehow now broadcasting from my webcam as well. I saw the man point at the screen, as if to point to me with his index finger, and then do the cutthroat motion. At this point, I took this as something more serious, and was now on edge. I screen capped this as evidence for the police. I printed the picture, and then headed to the local police station right away. On my way to the station, I noticed in my rearview mirror the car behind me appeared to have no driver, but I did see the mask the man was wearing through the glasses. When I arrived at the station and handed the pictures to the police, they assured me they'd be scouting my area for a man with a mask in the next few days. This made me feel somewhat safe. I decided, with them on stakeout, I tried continuing my life as normal. 
The next day, I went shopping because I was low on food and needed to pick up milk. Something very scary happened at the shop as I progressed in getting the groceries I needed. The usual bustle of the store dumbed down just as, if not more progressively. When I got to the checkout, I noticed no one was in the store. And in each checkout lane, on the counters, was a mask, just like the man, just like the, the one that I saw that man wearing on Omegle. I ran out and hurriedly unlocked my car door, just piling my groceries in the passenger seat and sped out of the parking lot. When I got home, I was so freaked. I just grabbed all the groceries I could and ran into the house, then locked all the doors and windows. I needed assurance, so I called to the police and asked them if they had noticed him around, and thankfully, they hadn't. I decided to call it all a night early, and went upstairs, and then I got into bed. When I awoke that morning, I was frightened to see that hanging on the hook of my closet door in my bedroom was the mask that that man wore. I grabbed the mask, rushed downstairs, grabbed my keys, and rushed off to the police station. I showed them the mask, and they had told me to stay at a friend's house that night while they investigated my house. I called my buddy Brad. He always gave me a place when I needed it. So that night, I headed to his place, and we stayed up playing video games while I explained my situation. To my shock, he said he encountered the same man just a day before I did, which would make this the third day. Later that night, we were asleep. I was awoken to a loud noise coming from Brad's room. Scared, I crept upstairs to check on him. I was horrified at what I saw. Brad was laying on his bed in a pool of blood with that mask laying on his chest. Today, it is my third day, and I'm sitting at the police station on Brad's laptop typing this to warn you all. Beware of the pumpkin man. I don't know what will become of me, but if this post gets around and saves as many lives as possible, I'm content. Hi, YouTubers! JW Accent here. I hope you enjoyed that creepy pasta. It's probably the most random and creepiest. <laughs> Anywho, um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and submit and remember to like and comment. Uh, you, know, you know, if you didn't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. I don't mind. Actually, I do mind. You know what? That's pretty rude. Uh, anyway, no, 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 no. Just scratch that. Uh, rewind. Uh, then fast forward and, and listen to this. Okay, guys, I want you to have a good day. All right. In the end, after you've watched this creepy pasta, I want you to have a good day and not worry about the pumpkin man coming after you. And remember to na na na, na 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 na. Love you. Now it. Woman, feed me. Feed you? Yeah. You want food? I'll give you food. Take that and take your cats and get out of my house. I'm tired of living here, Margaret. I'm not dealing with the bullhorses!